l'arrivée des premiers hommes sur le continent américain reste un mystère. Sur ce continent, on ne devrait pas trouver une présence humaine antérieure à 15 000 ans. Et si l'homme avait atteint l'Amérique des milliers d'années avant ce que l'on pensait This was a doc that really invited the viewer into the fold and, and made them feel like they were a part of the team. And it spoke to the audience in a friendly way, but never talked down to us. Um, it respected an audience's intelligence in, able, in being able to grasp a, a great deal of information and dive deep into that information. And I feel like I came out all the better for it. I never felt lost, just ready to learn more. Um, and it was really lovely to see the processes and the background behind this as well. Uh, a brilliant variety of experts in the field and across the globe to, to add layers and nuance and insight to this. Gorgeous cinematography to capture the environment and all the details. And it really got into visually the textures and the elements, those, yeah, all of those details in a very archaeological perspective. Which I think is really important. So we got to see as an archaeologist does. Um, and I loved the sweeping shots and the surrounding um, aerial images to get an overview of what field work looks like, but also what it feels like to be there. I like the opening and the title sequence. It's very captivating and sets up well what the documentary is going to explore, the connections of the Ice Age and the Americas. I like how the shot composition compositions complement the theme of the documentary with the long shots and the establishing shots to establish the environment and help the viewer paint the picture. I like the use of reenactments that help point to the time of the Ice Age. Um, and I like the graphics and the imagery, the use of graphics and imagery where time and history don't um, supply exactly what the filmmaker is trying to convey, these graphics help point, uh, paint the picture well. All of the editing, the visuals, the, the um, music all together just had that feeling of something huge about to be discovered at any moment. Uh, it just had that epicness about it. I thought the cinematography was beautiful. They really got some amazing shots of these places that they were in America, South America, Mexico, Alaska, everywhere. Uh, they just got some amazing footage. Um, from, you know, barren landscapes to waterfalls. Uh, I love that they delved into all of the different historical things that are still left after thousands of years. It's kind of amazing to see uh, from, you know, footprints to animal bones to cave paintings. They, they cover all of it. Um, and it's just amazing to see how much is still left from, you know, those thousands of years ago. I also loved how we saw the map and how it was always moving, always very dynamic um, as we were moving from place to place on the map. So seeing where everything was was super easy to follow. And then also they did, not only did that with the map, but also with the timeline of everything, making it very visual, very cinematic, just zooming through the world's timeline. It's so pretty and it's lovely and it has this beautiful sort of almost a musical flow to it. I loved what they did with the animation and the graphics to kind of help drive their point home. I thought that that was really smart for the filmmakers. Um, it was very fascinating learning more about uh, the ice bridge and just um, finding relics and evidence of all the different uh, traces of how... Uh, life managed to get to America before uh, that bridge eventually melted, leaving them, I wouldn't say stranded on a continent, but <laughs> uh, but just it, it's always fascinating uh, putting the pieces together to see how history reshapes and reforms, uh, especially because new pieces of evidence will always uh force you to relook at the original narrative to see what's changed if uh our original theories still hold or if we've been 
completely out of the water. I think on top of it, the, the cinema, on top of this side, on top of the actual plot, what we see, what we learn, what we understand about the past, there's also great cinematography, fantastic direction. I really enjoyed and loved those aerial shots where we see the nature. We really see the true nature and we really understand how beautiful our world is. And on top of that, the, the, the usage or, that we have of B-rolls, voiceovers is absolutely brilliant. And all together, they managed to create a compelling and un um, unforgettable document. Just beautiful footage throughout, really nice cinematography, nice voice for the narration and the delivery, the performance of it was really good. I, From what I could see, there was a lot of great content available with the older footage and the pictures and just a good variety of visuals to kind of break things up, especially for a long you know, documentary. Just a lot of great visuals. I did notice um, toward the beginning, there was a cool shot of a mountain or something like a snowy mountain. And you could see the visual of other footage in the mountain. I thought that was a really cool technique the filmmakers used. I saw it a couple of times, like footage within footage. So it was really neat to see that. Um, seems to be just a lot of great information on sort of humans being around at the peak of the ice age when we didn't think, I mean, like thousands of years earlier than thought. So um, because I did see some of the you know, the news articles that were popping up as far as the fossil footprints being found in New Mexico and things like that. So for me, it was about uh, discovering something, you know, some fossils and things that were older than we had anticipated.